Welcome to our channel. This video is for educational purposes only. The information presented is in no way intended to diagnose or prescribe. If you have a specific health concern, please contact your healthcare professional. Hello. Hope everything is well. Today, we will talk about the basics of brushing so watch until the end of the video. Brushing and flossing are something we all learn at an early age. The proper way to brush your teeth takes less than two minutes, although many people tend to spend much longer, or much less. Most adults tend to spend less than a minute, which isn't enough time to clean your teeth. To get the right amount of time brushing, you should try using a stopwatch while you brush. When you brush your teeth, you should avoid using pressure but instead use short, gentle strokes. You should focus on hard to reach places, and make sure that you get the areas between your teeth as well. You should also make sure you get eating surfaces as well, along with your upper and lower gums. If you focus on all areas of your mouth, you'll get everything when you brush. Along with using the proper brushing techniques, you will also need to use the right toothpaste as well. There are a variety of toothpastes available, designed to help you with a variety of different conditions. You can get toothpaste that will prevent toothaches, stop sensitivity, and prevent things such as tartar and gingivitis. Toothpaste is the best way to protect your teeth, therefore you should always ask your dentist what type of toothpaste he recommends for you. To get the most out of brushing, you'll need to have a good toothbrush. There are many different models to choose from, which can make it extremely difficult to choose one. When you make your choice, you should look for brushes that have soft bristles. Soft bristles are easy on your gums, and they will remove plaque and other debris from your teeth. A small head is also preferred, as it can easily reach hard to get places, such as your back teeth. You should also remember to replace your brush every couple of months, or when it starts to show signs of wear. If you've had a cold you should replace your toothbrush, simply because the bristles can contain germs that could get you sick all over again. Toothbrushes that show wear should always be replaced, as they can have an impact on your gums. If the bristles start to get worn down, they can tear away at your gums, leading to sensitivity. To get the most from your brushing, you should always use a bit of common sense and ask your dentist for his recommendations. Brushing your teeth will help keep them healthy, and prevent the buildup of plaque and tartar. Keep in mind that brushing does help your teeth, although you still need to go to your dentist for regular checkups. If you take care of your teeth and brush them on a regular basis, you will keep them free of infections and cavities. Stay healthy and strong. That ends our video for this time. Click on the following in the description box below for more information. Watch our other videos about general health and overall wellness. Please like, follow, subscribe and click the notification button on our channel for our other videos. Stay safe and see you again soon.